Gu Bangdu are an Amazon seller. Now they contacted me a few days ago and asked me if I wanted to review this Bowmaker 4K action camera. I've been asked to review a lot of action cameras lately and the reason I decided to review this one is because there are several things that set it aside from the majority of cameras available on Amazon at the moment. One thing is that it's got a Panasonic image sensor which obviously is a better quality image sensor than the majority. It will record 4K video but the main reason for me is that it will record 1080p video at 60 frames per second and 720p video at 120 frames per second which give you the capability of slow motion. The third thing is that it's got a screen at the front which makes using the camera way easier. You can actually see what the camera is doing without having to walk behind it. And last but for me the most important reason is that this camera is capable of time lapse photography and that for me is very important when it comes to an action camera. So let's get on to the review. It arrives from Amazon in this semi rigid case which provides a lot of protection. As you can see it comes quite nicely packed. Inside the case we've got the camera, a waterproof camera case and then this is a second back that's got holes in there that allow you to record sound so it's not waterproof but it means you can keep the camera in the case and record sound. We've got various mounting brackets and adapters two tripod adapters this little mount there allows you to just clip the camera into the mount and fit it on a tripod we've got a handlebar mount a cleaning cloth a remote control with a strap so you can put it around your wrist spare battery a set of instructions two other mounts that are self-adhesive We've got some tie wraps and a steel cable to allow you to secure the camera. Four separate straps and these can be used on these uh, mounts as well. A USB charger and a USB to micro USB charging cable. So it's quite a comprehensive list of equipment that comes with the camera. So first impressions are that it's a well made camera. As you can see it's got a brushed aluminium front there. On off button, that's your front LED screen which allows you to see what the camera is doing. We've got a Wi-Fi button on the side because it's got Wi-Fi capabilities on the back we've got the 2 inch screen and that's a very good quality screen very clear then we've got a micro SD card slot a micro USB socket a micro HDMI socket that's a microphone in there if we go underneath we've got the battery compartment and remember it comes with two batteries it feels like a quality item it's got a nice feel to it very small very compact it feels very solid it doesn't come with an SD card and the manufacturer recommend that you use a proprietary SD card which is class 10 I'm going to put a SanDisk 32 gigabyte card in just one thing that I think was worthy of mention is that the set of instructions that come with this camera are the best that I've seen from a Chinese manufacturer so the camera is fairly simple to use to turn it on you press the mode button or the on off and mode button the camera comes on and the screen comes on at the back now this this is why this front screen is so useful so at the moment we're set at 720p at 120 frames per second video you can click the mode button it will go to the camera click the mode button again then this is best photography which is something I don't think I'll use click it again we've got time lapse that's video playback photo playback and settings and then if we click the button at the top there we go into the settings menu on the back once you've actually got video resolution there if you press the record button at the top it will tell you that we've got uh, 720p at 120 frames per second selected we've got 1080p at 60 1080p at 30 4K at 30, 27K at 30, and then 720 at 120 frames per second. So there are all the recording facilities that you've got for video. I'm going to set it for 1080p at 60. Click the button at the top. And then the same for the photo resolution. I will go through that. 14 megabits is the biggest. Looping video I'm not interested in. Metering I'm not interested in. Uh, Timestamp. Uh, I'll look at that later on, set the timestamp. The exposure allows you to change the way the camera records in different light conditions. Best photo I don't think I'll ever use. 
time lapse yes I'll be using the time lapse and you've got two seconds three seconds five seconds ten seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds and 60 seconds so lots of options there for time lapse photography I'm going to set it for five seconds I think and then we've got continuous lapse don't know what that is not particularly interested in power frequency 50 hertz 60 hertz or auto it's got I'll just leave that on auto language it's obviously in English at the moment so I'll leave it we can set the date and time now then I've set the date and time and that was a bit of a faff because I never read the instructions and I should have once you actually set the date and time and you've finished with it you've got to press the Wi-Fi button on the side which takes you back into the previous menu because I couldn't get out of the time setting so that's worth remembering you can invert the video you've got a screen saver and a power saver format the SD card reset the camera settings and obviously it tells you what version it is you can probably update the firmware but uh, I would suggest not doing that you can connect the camera to the TV via the HDMI cable and then whatever it is you want to play back I want to play video back so and you can play the video back directly off the camera which I think is a really good feature so the camera comes with a remote control it's got two settings it's got photograph and video and you can see that the grey button there has got like a picture of a video camera and the red one is a camera so the way it works is quite simple if I press the red button which is a camera the action camera switches over to camera mode and takes a photograph and then if I press video it flicks over to video and starts recording and if you press it again it stops recording now that is an absolutely smashing little feature that means that if you're actually on a surfboard or if you're on a skateboard or in your car or whatever you're doing and you're videoing stuff and you're on the move you don't actually need to get to the camera to start recording and stop recording or to take a photograph there is a strap included with the camera that allows you to put that round your wrist so that it really is a handy piece of kit there are instructions on the instruction manual telling you how to download this app it's Ease Eye Cam this is the Apple version I downloaded it off the App Store it's free it's very easy to connect the camera to this application it's very quick and very easy turn the Wi-Fi on on the camera and you'll see that you get the Wi-Fi symbol there the camera is shown on the iPad as iCam K8 just select that click on devices connect and there we are connected pretty simple and very easy no problems with that at all I didn't have to do any messing about with it at all it just connected straight away so this is a clip taken with the camera it's time-lapse the interval period for the photographs is once every five seconds and it was basically just placed outside on a tripod because I knew it was fairly windy and the clouds were moving just so that you guys can see what it's like on time-lapse time-lapse is one of my favorite photography styles so this video is taken on the car if you look closely now as I turn around there's a deer running away from the car just on the right hand side near the tree you can't see it very well actually but it's there and I've attached the camera to the bonnet with a suction mount that I've got from an older camera and I'm just literally driving it around the garden so that you can see what it's like in motion the camera is set at 1080p at 60 frames per second and just as we come down to the bottom here you'll see some rabbits running away as the car approaches so this is just to give you an idea of what the camera is like attached to a fast moving vehicle on rough terrain you can see the lens suffers from fisheye but that can be corrected with your video editing software the Bowmaker 4k ultra hd action camera sold on amazon by Gu bang Du. there are only a couple of slightly negative points about this camera everything about it is really very good but to charge the battery there's no indication of when the battery is actually charged so you plug it into its power supply and plug it into the camera and the LED screen comes on at the front there but it doesn't actually tell you when the battery is charged and the other thing is it takes five hours to charge a battery now that's negated by the fact that you get a second battery 
but I do think that five hours to charge a battery on an action camera is an extraordinarily long time really. Other than that I think this is a smashing camera. Of all the Chinese cameras that I've reviewed this is by far the best quality. I think the Panasonic chip actually shines through. Uh, it's very easy to use. Time lapse is a major plus for me. Time lapse is something that I use all the time. I think the video is good quality so if you're looking for a camera that's not too expensive has great video quality, is easy to use and has time lapse then you won't go wrong with this one. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you for watching.